Hello guys, welcome back to my English channel. I'm Sar Sadang. Today we are going to be talking about Google Jamboard. Hari ini kita akan berbicara tentang Google Jamboard teaching tips ya. Yeah. Google Jamboard teaching tips tip-tip mengajar menggunakan Google Jamboard for those of you who aren't as uh, familiar with Google Jamboard started it started as a physical smart board that you could actually purchase so a Jamboard was a physical item you could have in your classroom there is a web version now and there is even a Jamboard application for iPad one reason why I'm hopeful that they'll continue to add new features to the web based version is because the physical Jamboard already has a lot more features and functionality we'll talk about how we can use Google Jamboard for intro type activities in your engage phase of the lesson to kick lessons off with a full group interactive activity we look at how you can use Jamboard in the middle or end of lesson sequence to help students review or share out what they've learned and also show you some different tricks like how to set up different backgrounds by pulling them in from other programs and I show you how to do some little other little tricks like how to set it up for a small group work how to set it up so it just gets sent to an individual but you could use that for a digital interactive notebook okay guys let's jump over here and get into Google Jamboard you can check it out by going to jamboard.google.com please hit jamboard.google.com this will show you all the recent what they call gems that you created and then you can also go down here to the orange plus to add a new one what I'm going to do to start is just show you all the basic features here about how to use Google Jamboard and I am going to progress in complexity over the course of the show on the left hand side here you see that you have some different tools guys and this is something to watch out for because they keep adding new tools here so this top tool here is a pen tool I'll show you how this could be useful later when you just have students do things like circle ideas that they like or put check marks by things stuff like that below it is an eraser tool so this can be used to erase what was already done a select tool if you have an image or you have something that you put on here it allows you to move that kind of stuff around one of the tools that I use quite often is the sticky note tool you can write down to start a lesson what do you want what you want 
students to do you can change the color post it and then this becomes an interactive piece that you can drag all around wherever you want it to go make it as large as you want yeah make it as large as you want it and you can also easily duplicate this yeah. there is also an image tool so adding an image will allow you to pull images in from your computer you can pull images you can take a picture of yourself you could pull images in from Google you can pull them in from photos if you uploaded those intro dot into your Google photos this is more of a cosmetic thing but if you lay those of a search other you will see that with the other button here or the other other option you can bring this to the front so that would lay the sticky note on top of the image shape shapes you could do something like add a square and bring that square in and then you could continue to bring those square either you know making your own or duplicating them and then you could label it at the top so that students know what to do for that particular part of the graphic organizer list yeah the safest are you know to me a little bit less important now that you can actually just bring in your own background big addition the ability to add a text box with the text box you can click where you want it to go and then actually type inside of Jamboard and of course you have some options for you for you now the size you can drag it around wherever you want it to go things like that yeah this is one as well the laser tool where you can do things like point to the place this is the laser guys that you want to draw students attention as well there is a undo tool there's also a zoom tool so this allows you to zoom in or zoom out things like that the background tool we are going to look at in just a moment these are a basic background that have always been here so you can do things like at graphic paper and line paper or at least been there for a while what news what's new in relatively new is this ability to bring in in background image clear the frame the frame would just wipe everything and allow you to start press again you can very easily just add new pages so you just add new pages by creating a new frame you can see i can you can see i can basically add just unlimited amount of frames here there are some options that are useful here one is the ability to download 
this is a pdf also to save the frame as an image you can also make a copy and i'll be showing Now we're showing some different ideas about how you could use this at the beginning of class. You can ask students to do things like make connections to prior knowledge or prior content here. Students would be sharing what something that you already know what to have students make predictions so let's say you are reading a class novel and you are in the middle of the book you could start class by asking students to make a prediction what they think is going to happen next you can also ask students to do things like code analysis and then another way that i like to potential start off a lesson or a lesson sequence would be to bring an in image and have students make in inferences about that image let's actually look at would look like now if i pull in a students i'm going to show you how to actually push this out and assign it through google classroom in a minute but another option is that you'll just directly share google jambot with them dengan siswa so you can either and then you can share jambot as a viewable file or you can share it as editable if you want to share it first as viewable you can do that if you just want to teach on Jamboard then give edit access and then switch right back to view access you can do that one is that you could just change to anyone with the link and um, you can get this copyable copyable link that you can share if you want students to actually be able to get here to get in here and participate which you probably want then you are going to need to change this to editor you probably want to do something like set up a class list in google context and i don't have time to show you that in this show but you can in google context you could just create a class list so all you would type would be Mr. K, Mr. Amsar 6, 10, apa? 11, 12 grade class and then your whole student's email would populate in you could like copy and paste your email list from Google Classroom or from another place where you have student emails but this will give you a little bit higher level privacy for the students that are coming you 
might want to do you might want to do few only to start if you are doing some explanation so you know kind of the rule of like you don't pass out the paper on students deck while you're still talking because then they are going to start working on something and they are just going to be watching you at this point now when you want the students to actually be able to edit you just need to change the permission so you go back here to share and you're going to change permission level done permission level to be an editor is going to show up on his page and if if it doesn't show up automatically you can just ask him to refresh it and then then we'll be able to get in and he could do things you know like add a text box or drawings or any of the tools that i just show you as well as a couple of tips about using google jambot one that you do toggle back and forth between view and edit another suggestion is that use it for the most part of this type of activity for just like a quick check-in activity and it's not something where you're using that when you have everybody in it as a big open workspace set it up so that is smaller groups you know think strategically about the group the groupings so that they are going to be respectful about that one thing that i did also want to show here that that most people probably don't know do, do not know about about is that little gear icon so if you go up here to the gear icon let's say that you do have done as an editor i would recommend that you take off editors can change permissions and share and you probably also want to take this one of viewers and commenters you can see the option to download print and copy and this will give you a little bit of higher level admin access so that students can't do all the things that just an admin owner of the game board would be able to do one reason i should say why jboard is more powerful now is the ability to set a background so for example you could go to canva and then when you log in they have pre-made templates and then when you log in they have pre-made templates now you can actually do this directly in canva i don't have time to show you that here but you could bring all your students in and have them actually work on this directly in canva but another thing you can do with this pre-made whiteboard templates is download them and bring them into jambot and you can actually bring that animation i know i'm going to often help the audience by calling this a gift or 
or a gift for the other half you just want to change the file type here you give or give and then download that file what you can do is go back to jambot and then you can go to set background click image and then you are just going to find that on your computer click open that kind of font and I think it's a layer you know to Jambot that makes it a lot a lot more interesting then he'll be able to write directly on top of this background and I think this would be particularly useful idea for say elementary student you could basically tell them who needs to post on a space so for example you know we could put the names of students rather than this other prompt and then once you download this and bring that in this would show up as background so that student would know oh i need to put my sticky right on top of that a little bit more advanced way to use this which would be to start using it for small group work what you would do is again we are going to check out some of these templates here you can find a template we bring in this one which is essentially like a project planner where they have to write their team name and goals and potential risk and again you could change all of this so that it applies a particular project a particular project bring this in this going to be essential my master copy what I'm going to show you is actually going to work best if you you are able to split your class into four groups what I'll do here to make this available to groups is go up to the three dots and I'm going to click make a copy and I just change this one now to be group two and I'm just going to replicate this process and I am just going to replicate this process basically over and over again now what I'm going to do is use a screen splitter to be able to see all four bots at the same time you can bring any jam bot and google classroom so here i'm going to add this from google drive from google from google drive and i should be able to find this is my folder then here you would want to change students can edit do is go up here to my students 
and I'm just going to assign this to the students that are in this group also repeat this process for the other bots what I'm going to do is going is I'm going to click zip on this four tabs up here then I'm going to go over to the tab resize so when you click it then it's going to now show you all for now I just want to talk very briefly about some other ways you can do use it in the middle of a lesson let's say that we all just learn about a topic we went out and watched some of puzzle videos and read some actively learning articles and now we need to start organizing those ideas because guys we are going to be using them to fill in a graphic organizer to make a digital comic or write an essay or something like that one way to make sure that that equitable and everybody has the information and is learning from each other would be to put in something like this where you coming back as a check-in what do you learn you're doing some mini lesson you could also use google jamboard or a digital interactive notebooks google size it's not an open campus right you cannot just like write anywhere on it with the same level of is huge pen I love slides mania one of the template types that she has been making are this notebook style templates this is one of them that I downloaded from slides mania what you can do with this is download this as an image and then bring them into Genbot and I will bring that background and I can look at this to edit them go to Google Classroom you can assign a Genbot template out to students guys you can assign a jamboard template out to student as an individual copy okay so i'm going to go to create assignment and i'll write whatever instruction i want and then I'm going to go to add Google Drive then I'm going to find that in my drive recent folder here every student now has individual copy of the net notebook you see you have a folder you will see that you have a folder that you can access again right here from your class drive folder you'll be able to see all the jambots that have been created for your students this gives you a way to see them to be able to click inside of them and check them out you also want to continue to put more of the slides out to students as say an ongoing notebook you could have them all kind of set them up on their own 
where all they are doing here is just setting a background it's some paper and you are giving them uh, from another option would be that you could have your main copy and what you could do is have this bulk out and you continue to add new slides to this what you can do is go to create full in this slide deck as view only and then leave, leave it without leave it without a theme so this file I can constantly be adding new slides to it be adding new slides to it we show up at the top of Google Classroom and you can basically just train students and teach them proactively for a while that they would open that slide deck when they open it they'll have it as the only slide deck so so guys they would not be able to edit them and then you can teach them how to go to file download jpeg they have this new frame maybe you put a new writing from on there and then when they go into their own personal notebook you just show them how to add that new page in there it is an effective way to encourage everybody in the class to participate and really set up the, the, that culture of mandatory participation in your class Thanks for watching guys Terima kasih sudah menonton video saya Semoga ada manfaatnya Ini berkaya oleh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Keep Keep health Stay at home Jangan lupa subscribe channel saya Anton Sadam And hit the bell In order to get the latest information from me guys finally saya akhiri wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye